Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton, and it is time to continue playing a game called Hollow Knight. I am fine, it's nice to see you. Alice, I haven't seen you in a while. I'm streaming, so that's fine. It's all good. Nothing to worry about. Unless it is something to worry about, in which case we'll find out later. That's uh, irrelevant. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Hollow Knight. Also, chill, chill streams, as I, have, as I have chosen to call them. Which are, as I keep mentioning at the starts of streams, streams where I do not do my usual streaming style of talking constantly and constantly commentating and joking and talking about things. And I try to be a bit quieter and uh, not talk while moving around and so on because of my busted lungs and throat. And if I talk too much, uh, I get super sick and then I have to go back to bed for days and then I don't stream and that's a net negative for the world, even if only very slightly. So last time I think I upgraded my sword again, and then I uh, ate another god, I think. And I'm now currently about to go fight a boss that killed me, and I was like, okay, I'm done with this stream now. <laughs> it's time for bed. Last time. Let me know if my audio is coming through okay, or if I should boost the game audio up, or anything like that. Let me just double check something real quick. I think we are all good and that it's fine. Anyway, it's necessary to return to the wizard zone. Normally I dwell primarily in the wizard zone. I like the wizard zone. Unfortunately these wizards are assholes. I've literally forgotten what this guy's moveset was, so expect for me to lose two or three times. <laughs> okay, so he's an asshole who summons ghosts, and throws ghosts at me, and runs over and stabs me. I'm not running around stabbing people. People are running around and attempting to stab me, which requires me to respond in kind. I didn't make up the knight rules. They predate me and they're called chivalry. Well, the thing about the knight being hollow is that A, as far as we know, this protagonist is not the hollow knight. The hollow knight is a mythic or legendary figure within this world. However, he may be a knight and he may be hollow. My personal belief is that they're kind of like undead. But what happens when a, a, a creature that has a... Uh... Oh, hey. Didn't know this was up here. What happens when a creature that has a uh, exoskeleton becomes an undead creature? It becomes an animated hollow exoskeleton, right? Because it doesn't have an internal skeleton to become a skeletons. Um, or any flesh on the outside to become all zombified. So it just rots and becomes a hollow shell. So this guy and possibly the other knights wearing masks like his are... Uh, Assorted Hollow Knights. Okay, that went. This is going terribly. Wowzers. I think this is going to be a battle of play defense. I 
I have spectacularly failed to play defense. I suppose you could conceivably, if you were a necromancer of a particularly twisted mind, just animate a human skin, right? Like, there's no reason that you'd have to be limited to doing that to bugs and shellfish and lobsters and things. Which is literally a thing that used to happen in uh, Dwarf Fortress. Uh, any... Wait, was this lift here before? Any, uh, any necromancer could summon different chunks. Uh, any, 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 any item that was, like, removed from a body was considered a body part and could therefore be animated by a necromancer, which were these really difficult NPC enemies that would occasionally attack fortresses. Which especially meant it was really bad if said necromancer had summoned zombies or skeletons or anything, because your defending dwarves would hack bits off them, and uh, then those bits would come to life themselves. <laughs> I just got spawn fragged by a a ghost. A squibbly ghost. I'm really not I'm really not up to fighting this guy. It'd be alright if I could heal. Maybe I should switch up my uh, my loadout. I don't think I need to increase range. Oh, actually, the Dream Shield is really good, generally speaking. Bug face? Is it bugging you? the habit of sending lifts down when I'm fighting something over and over and over. See, I actually haven't played Dwarf Fortresses in eight Dwarf Fortress in ages, which is a shame because it's one of my all-time favorite games. Dude, come on, telegraph your animations. Why are you being such a dick? I mean, his animations are super telegraphed, but each each one goes into like three or four different, well, like two or three different animations. Is he gonna throw something? Is he gonna zoom at me? Is he gonna teleport and jump? Don't know, but they all look identical. Oh, okay, that was actually pretty easy. He had fewer hit points than I expected. Turns out the answer was just to keep wailing on him till he died. This solves most problems. The best workplace safety option for a while was uh, throwing all corpse bits into lava before they could animate, or only equipping your dwarves with uh, crushing weapons. Cool. Cool ghost. Aha. Interesting. Okay, so that's an upgrade to my, my default soul blast. Neat. Well, where the hell am I supposed to go now? 
I suppose the next load-bearing boss is over here, but I don't know if I can break the barrier it's behind yet. Where haven't I explored? I've done the crystal zone, I've done the corpse zone, done the castle zone, I've done the sewer level, I've done the ancient primordial place we don't talk about zone. Oh, I've missed a bit down here. I could go find what, what's, out, what's up down here. Or... I could try- aha! Actually, now that I have the double jump, there's like two things I can access in the Mantis Village that I didn't have access to previously. That might be the way to go. Also, there's definitely something over here, but I don't know what yet. Oh, and of course there's the, the honey zone. Also known as a nest. Which I should probably investigate. Game is big. This game is large and I am just such a little bug. But Mr. Game Design Studio, your game is so large and I am so small. to quit having my extremely useful and powerful shield simply because I am too good for it when I am not uh, busy, I guess, when I'm not exploring. Oh hey, I forgot I have the uh, Super Saiyan speed mode. It's faster than Super Saiyan speed mode. This guy. <laughs> what has no thumbs and is faster than Super Saiyan speed mode? This guy. the silt striders these guys can actually talk i've read that one before but also they have hopes and dreams as we can discover by using the dream nail on them oh i should play morrowind back before i got second covid back when i was planning to do a lot more streaming and i was a lot more streamy than i am nowadays i was planning on doing a morrowind stream secret best game Ow. Now where was I going? Oh hey, there's somewhere to go past the deep nest. I think I'll check that out first. I love Mushroom Zone. I always forget that Stilt Striders are literally lobotomized. Oh hey, don't melee those. <laughs> or fall in there.
Sometimes falling in the soup is necessary as a component of exploration. I don't think enough people respect that fact. Oh, wait, that just goes back here. That doesn't help at all. Not a good crunchy noise is when you hurt yourself. Oh, that's what this was. Secret room didn't get added to my map with this mystery in it. What I don't know is if I had come here earlier, would this beat guy be fine? The evil orange goo that controls people spread after I killed the- well, I say killed, after I hit the first of the game's like main load-bearing bosses. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a thing I like know about or not. Well I guess that's what that was- I guess that's what was there. Time to go down back into the deep nest. Yes, the peach flavoured jelly, as we established previously. Hmm, I wonder if that breaks the black barriers. According to video game colour logic, it ought to. get no respect in this place. Where am I even going? Okay, I need to go to the- woo. I need to go to the right. Bug- <laughs> If you are a bug, then why bug attack you is like saying, if human is mammal, why wolf eat human? Some bugs are bug people. Some bugs are bug animals. Because this is bug world. Uh, and in addition, some bugs that are bug people also do bug attack. Being a people is not... Uh, does not prevent one from being malevolent. Or... Indeed, vicious or simply confused. Bugs with orange eyes have become infected by some kind of goopy orange parasite. That's a sign that the peach jelly is now in their brains, instead of their stomachs, or it should be. Bugs you. I'm tired of using that pun. Which I guess means it bugs me, ironically. Where the hell am I trying to go? Oh, okay, I can't get up there. I have to... Hmm. Must be away from above, then. Because I can use the ground slam. Oh, maybe that must be accessible from the fungal wastes, I guess. 
Well. Yeah, I could definitely use some debugging, which is why I'm wandering around slaughtering all of these things. Unfortunately, it's a lot harder to make puns on insect. Actually, why am I not making, like, various different kinds of... Uh... What's the what is the word that I cannot I cannot remember the word that means like animals what have an exoskeleton. Anyway, some animals have exoskeletons. We all envy them a great deal. It's not arachnid and it's not hominid, because those are spiders and humanoids, respectively. This is going to be bothering me all day. No, arthropods. That's definitely what I was after. Arthropods. In bugs and spiders and crabs. They're all arthropods, baby. Incidentally, this is this is like the kingdom of the spider people specifically. Um, that's the village over there in the distance, the distant village. But there's not many of them around anymore, possibly because I slaughtered them. Being sick of this game doesn't give you arthritis, however, playing this game too much might give you arthritis. There's a way down here somewhere. Aha! Well, looks like I found it. Yeah, let's not think about where that giant pool of white sticky fluid came from. So it looks dark down here. And the main thing I need to progress in the game right now is a way to bypass these like dark sticky barriers that are like reverse. Like this white gloopy stuff is called soul and it's some kind of a magic stuff that does magic things. There's also a kind of an... Ah, see one of these? Yeah, okay. How do I get past these? There has to be a way. Where haven't I gone? I think I've seen everywhere here. I haven't gone underneath there, but I don't know how. Oh, I guess I can go to the hive and explore the hive, but I really don't... This game is absolutely beautiful, something I've talked about periodically all the way through it. All of the art in it is great, and as a combat platformer uh, metroidvania thing, it's really well designed. But, I will say, I keep running into stumbling blocks of not knowing where to go or what to do. I always have somewhere to explore next, but I often don't have a reason to be exploring there, or I don't feel like I do. Which is kind of kind of wrong for this sort of thing. Whatever you find should lead you to the next place you need to use the thing you found. I don't know what Sol Noct is, so I can't answer your question, I'm afraid. Insert tramp ass.
Well, I mean, not I. I know. I know. Sol means sun, and Noctis means night. But I guess. I, I guess I don't know. I don't. I. I'm confused as to what you're getting at. Which is not an uncommon experience for me. Humans do be saying some confusing things. Hmm. Did I kill that boss? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, I need to go another stop further. Oh, okay, I see. I'm not sure the sun exists in this world. It's always night on the surface, or it's always dark on the surface. And the entire rest of the game takes place in the underground. Umbra's good. Umbra, Umbra's a good syllable. Oh. What's like a syllable but for multiple things? Dirtmouth is on the surface, the Howling Cliffs are on the surface, and the Crystal Peak is on the surface. Well, the top of it is. But it's not exactly brightly lit out there. Oh well, time to go back and resume trying to explore. The Wasp Zone. Or the Bee Zone, I guess. I have yet to find the map of this area, though. Hey man, are we cool? Oh, I think we're cool. That one will hurt me, though. I mean, I guess that's a word, but there's a lot of words that you don't really get on their own, right? Like... Like, nobody says... Well, I suppose because it's a dead language, but... No, I guess maybe it's just not a thing. I'm bad at language now. I used to be lovely at language. I used to be so good at it. I'm very proud. But now my brain's mush. So I suspect. Still waiting on that uh, brain scan to find out if my brain is literally actually mush. Sorry, I mean my uh, heavily overclocked uh, graphics card installed in my cranial, my cranial nook. Neat. This is cool. I didn't know there was a secret extra way in here. Yeah, like my RAM's all busted. My GPU's like, oh, like toasty. There's a whole, there's a whole other half to this zone that I didn't know about. That must have, that I've been wondering. I found a pump somewhere that pumped something out of this shaft fr from over here to over here. I've been wondering what it was this entire time. Looks like I found it. Anyway, all of these jokes are because I am, in fact, not a human person, but an AI designed solely to play and understand video games for the benefit of others. Cool, she seems normal. Oh, what a surprise. It's not often I see it receive visitors. It's been so long. Ages, even. I just hope my manners haven't left me. You've no doubt sensed my affluence. You're right to guess I'm renowned amongst the upper cast of Hallow Nest. Well, I was once until the Cretans cast me out. Have you met them, my former fellows? That's them outside, their bodies shambling around, mindless and empty. I'm still alive to witness their pathetic demise. Ah, I'm just so happy. Fate can be a wonderful thing. Normal behaviour. Isn't life just wonderful? No doubt this one will meet its demise at the nails of the city's guards. I'll outlive you too, little grub, as I did all the others. Oh, you didn't know about this? Well, I mean, I guess I didn't either. Ow. I'm bad at fighting these. Maybe they're good at fighting me. Do 
Jerry's still out. Still, I noticed this door a while ago. Also, I don't know if that immortal person is uh, related to any of the like expansions that they've released. Uh, which I accidentally activated. I don't like to activate an expansion while there's still like main plot stuff happening, but unfortunately, shit happens. Wait, what do you mean others? Are you watching this with someone else? If so, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I should go back to exploring down here in the stinky hole. I discovered something that people who played this game a bunch didn't know about or something which would be pretty cool also I can't tell if you're being sarcastic because again robot only those who prove their honor in combat may enter the grove beyond oh this might be the arena which someone which some bug or other told me about ages ago I was wondering where that would turn out to be collecting a very large number of these rancid eggs, even though I have uh, no real use for them whatsoever. I still suspect that there is going to be some kind of upgrade eventually that lets me go in the green water without getting hurt. more sarcastic. Like, I'll admit that it is more noticeably sarcastic, but less less because of the uh, tone indicators. Oh boy. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know there was a way through here. A lot of cool discoveries today. Ow. Haha, <laughs> get died, idiot. Oh man, I'm so far away. It's the easiest way to get back there. I guess King's Station and take the take the lift shaft, probably. But I'd have to go all the way back to up to Queen's Station. I guess I could just take the cable car again. Actually, no, the cable car is by far the fastest method. That's where I'll go. It's like navigating the London Underground, or so I'm told. This is actually a lot more like navigating the, um, the London Underground. Although there the trains do not attempt to eat you. Or, well I guess these things don't try and eat you, they just sort of attempt to move through you in a way that is fundamentally detrimental to your existence. Which an underground train will also do. Oh, your cat's watching? Tell him to go log into Twitch so that I can get an extra viewer. That's a joke, by the way. I know that cats prefer YouTube live streaming. Yep, 
You mean he has to make a meount? No, that's terrible. I should pause for a second, think of more cat puns. Because, I mean, they're not very difficult, but they are very amusing. That was a cat pun as well. was close. Oh, hey, works for. I love the mental image of uh, throwing a pylum after my guy, and it just narrowly zipping between the horns on his mask, instead of slaughtering him utterly. Now, there's no way for me to get through there. I'll ha actually, I'll have to go the long way around, right? If I go, I guess I can go up and then down again. That's the way to go. <laughs> Up and then down again, down again, up. Or however that one song by the Cinematic Massacre goes. Ouch. Please excuse me as I burp directly into the microphone. Wait, what is he back? Hey man, I thought I killed you. I'm glad to see you return. No, please, don't say a word. I must apologise for my previous behaviour. Entirely my fault, I mistook you for one of those mindless skulking husks, yet you bested me in the most majestic knightly fashion. Cool. Do you know you live in a shit- like, like a shit pile? Like an actual pile of shit. There can't possibly be enough people shitting in the city above. They're all zombies. <laughs> Such joyful, vigorous combat, I'd almost forgotten the feeling. I was once a knight, you see. By the grace of our good king, I stood proudly before the throne, watching Hallow Nest swell to greatness. Then that nasty business with the affliction. <laughs> we knights defend against the physical, but a formless enemy? How to defeat such a foe? Our king tried in his own way. A cruel means it was, and still, eventually, we were brought low. Bah, I shouldn't be so morose. You've invigorated me. Tis truly a delight to meet one whose strength can match my own. Go now, mighty warrior of Halonest, you've proven your honour. Good fortune on the path ahead. What's he thinking? So there were others. Aha, interesting. Okay. Cool. A lot of curious hints about the nature of this society have just been revealed unto, unto me. So it seems like... It seems like the uh, theory I had that this protagonist character and the various other masked knights were all cast out. Oh, the mechanical use of a burp is very simple. Um, it's a very efficient way of getting rid of waste heat. You know, when the fans start to work overtime in my thoracic cavity. That's when it's time for a quick little burp. Ideally not into a microphone, but you can't have everything. Anyway, it seems like I was right that these were a group of people, of whom I am just one, uh, and that they were cast out of this city for some reason into the formless, howling emptiness beyond. I feel like Dung Eater implies that you're aware that it's a fucked up thing to do and you don't mind or don't care. You're just sort of owning it, right? You're just- you're doing what you do. You're the Dung Eater. You eat Dung. Anyone who objects is a fool, really, for expecting different. Whereas the Dung Defender, there's a self-consciousness to that. There is a, um, an insecurity to being the Dung Defender. <gasps> My ghost. That is not present otherwise. Because this guy has to defend the, the Dung. Rather than simply accepting that it's gross. Anyway, in addition to all that other shit I was just saying. Uh, oh, is there something up here? Doesn't look like it. Why 
Why would I transmit my code directly to Twitch? You... Do you have any idea how difficult it is to get hardware that can do that? It's way cheaper just to buy a microphone and talk into it. Like, by a significant margin. Like, I don't have the time, energy, inclination, or skills to, um, like, code something that can translate that. Like, come on. And I, that software doesn't exist. It's not available for me to buy. And even if it was, I couldn't afford it. Are you seriously just assuming that because I'm a machine, I'm capable of doing coding? Like, just because you're a mammal, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're a star athlete, right? Or a doctor? Well, I did an amazing do job not dying in the slime just there. I did less good of a job avoiding these pufferfish bugs, which I don't believe have any analogue in the real animal world. Unlike most of the bugs, which are recognisably specific actual bugs from reality. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Dung Defender doesn't have to be dung defensive. He could be dung he could be dung has a point instead. <clears throat> In English a bugger fish is imply it rather implies something else. to fly, fight flying guys while also maintaining your own uh, wall jumping. Oh, I see a secret zone. I see a secret door. A hidden entry. Which does not seem to be accessible. Hmm. I guess I was mistaken. Ah, fuck off. Who gave them permission? Oh, that was it. I was expecting more. Ah, that's not going to work. <gasps> I hear sound grub. I hear sad grubs. Sad grubs. I love sad grubs. I must... Oh. Stinky. I bet this is where I get whatever lets me get through the... Uh, the stink, stinky green stuff. Must be, right? Oh, this is going to be a trap. This is going to attack me. I, I am certain. Bug is so small because other bug is big because bug be of different species, some of which have different physical capabilities. Or mental capabilities, for that matter. Oh, okay. It's just a thing I can have. Yes, finally. Finally, I can go in the soup. At last. Soup, 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 soup. This opens up so many places I haven't been. Haha, <laughs> get freed, idiot. Now that bug, I will admit, is baby. Oh, 
Wait, where's the arena the guy was talking about? Hmm, was there another...? No, I guess I'll come back after I find a bench and see whether or not I missed any anything obvious. Oh, I guess that must have been the Dong Defender. So I guess you can't get through here if you haven't beaten the Dung Defender. That would make sense. Secret, secret, secret. Hooray! Oh, but that... I've been here already. That's not secret. I am once again at a loss as, where to go, as to where to go. There's a couple things I can access in here that I couldn't otherwise. Likewise, a couple things up here that I can now access. Um, but I still have no idea how to get through the weird black barrier thing, which is the main thing stopping me from making progress. So I guess what I should do is I should go to the, the wasp zone. I'll go to the wasp zone and... and visit the wasps. I keep calling them wasps, but they're bees. Insofar as they have a an analogue from reality. Because of course none of these things are actually beetles or you know. What did I say Cornifer was? Uh, some kind of a weevil, I think. Like, sometimes you see a bug and you're like, that's a bee, or that's a... Uh... Wait, what's a... what was this? Oh, that was the shortcut back to town. Oh, I forgot what I was saying, but I don't care, so that's fine. What's up there? What's above this zone? More of the City of Tears, I guess. Maybe there's a way down that I missed so Oh wait, I can swim this now! Of course, of course, of course, of course. Aha! I do have a habit of forgetting that I have capabilities. I also have capable titties, but that's news for another time, I guess. Oh, aha! Bees. I really want to get the map of this zone. Lack of it's driving me insane. I love exploring, but I hate exploring when I can't keep track of where I have and haven't be been. Been. Was sort of a pun. Hey, Art! I am. I have done these many places in the past. There's like hour 13 of this stream series, I think, now. Uh, over the past, what, two weeks? Um, I've been here, I've killed some stuff, I've been here, I've killed some stuff, I've been all over the place and killed a bunch of people. Uh, well, I've re deaded a bunch of people that should really already have been dead. And I've I've successfully beaten in in fair combat some other people, who are then like, cool, we're done now. This is fine. I'm ha I'm happy to just let you do whatever. Was it playing this music here before? <gasps> oh, this is another. Ah, okay. This is a whole ass other area that doesn't seem to be related to the what well, the the bees, I guess. Well, maybe it is. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. I've I've gone real far. 
I've uh, got most of the the progression impediments. I've I've like sold them now. I have double jump. I have dash. I have like the Kamehameha super double dash, um, which was my favorite uh, Nintendo game. I've got some other thing. The main thing I'm trying to figure out how to get through now is like dark shadow barriers. A lot of dead guys here. Maybe this is where the mysterious. Uh... Like Warriors Arena, of which I have heard tell. Oh, hello. Happens to be spooky. As I said before, every single moment of this game is absolutely dripping with atmosphere. The music, the art, the visuals, the way that it locations are designed, it's all stellar. Absolutely fantastic. Here, another sad bug. How many more of these guys can there possibly be? I've got like I've got like three quarters of the uh, of the pins. I'm astonished. Right? Like, Aha! Oh shit! Was that there this whole time? Was it just a way through that? <gasps> Aha! Okay. Well, now I know what the purpose of this thing is. Cool. That is, as they say, real fucking neato. I still don't know how to get in here, though. It's such a small reward in there that I feel like it must be extremely obvious and nearby. It's just a switch around somewhere, but I don't- I can't find the damn thing. was a balcony. I thought I discovered something cool. Oh well. There's definitely a way to get up above here. Oh! <laughs> yeah, as always, turns out I was making it a lot harder than it had to be. Me, I'm smart, honest. Also me. corner for papers down here somewhere. Didn't I? I can hear him. Aha! Isn't this a cosy hole? I've been venturing about that wilderness beside here and I thought a moment's break was well called for. The landscape's all rather serene on this side of the city, although the inhabitants are ferocious as ever. By this wall, the city folk seemed hesitant to build further into these caverns. I wonder what kept them at bay. So, okay, I guess the, the kingdom of Hallowness doesn't go any further this way because they didn't want to dig deeper into the caverns. Additionally, they didn't go any further this way because it was an empty howling wasteland with nothing there. And they didn't want to go this way on the surface because of reasons, I guess. Ow! Fuck you. Ow! Fuck you. But, you know, the idea of an arena of fools with just... slain combatants, like, forever falling from the sky like snow. 
That's such a strong idea. Visually and thematically, like, that's brilliant. Or, as I suppose is the intended uh, visual metaphor, like, literally, obviously, visually, on the screen. Like falling petals. Which fits more strongly with the idea of a pointless and senseless death. Also feels oddly primordial, though it's very different to the ancient basin, which was much more obviously and directly primordial. lovely music. You don't get proper orchestral music in games, really. There's a very generic, like, games music genre of orchestral music, um, which is very lacking in terms of actual, like, symphonies scored for orchestras, for example. That's why people come to my channel for the hot takes, like, music sounds good, art pretty. I had something to spend my vast quantities of money on. Also outdoors? No, this is another cavern. There's a lot of them around. Just a wanderer's journal. Can't get out of there. Oddly Final Fantasy here. Oh. It's Hornet again. I must be progressing in the right direction, finally. Do 
Time for another boss battle, looks like. So you'd pursue the deeper truth? It isn't one the weak could bear. I'm always fighting. Prove yourself ready to face it. I'll not hold back. My needle is lethal and I'll feel no sadness in a weakling's demise. Show me you can accept this kingdom's past and claim responsibility for its future. focused so I can't really respond right this second but this is Hornet this is the third I think time we fought her in the game so far she's currently kicking the shit out of me oh, that was lucky She's a different species, but she might be of the same, like, social class. Um, there's a few different characters who have these white masks. Like, like the one my dude is wearing. So she might be one of those, if that's a thing. I might be wrong. This game is sparing with information about its world, which I massively appreciate. It always chooses to under-explain rather than over-explain. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Before you ask, my simulated voice by definition requires a simulated diaphragm. If you're asking if I'm drinking enough water, then yes, I am. That's been kind of necessary as I've started to try and do streaming in a way that accommodates my weird throat and lung disabilities. Hiding. Oh, okay, so she can find me there. I was starting to wonder. Shut up! Shut up! 
No. This is a rough one. Not least because I can't just like Super Saiyan zoom my way across into the battle zone. Why do I have to cross this narrow, like lengthy path? Why do I have to walk all this goddamn way just to go fight the boss again? Oh hey, my ghost has an extra hit point. So strong. You could do it if you had the will. But could you raise your nail once, knowing its tragic conception and knowing yourself? Then do it, ghost of Hallownest. Head onward. Burn that mark upon your shell and claim yourself as king. What does that mean? Well, I know the king is probably dead. But I don't know what the connection between the Hollow Knight and or knights and the king is. Interesting. That's the first time I've seen the silver writing separate from a from an object. Perhaps it was never carved into objects and I was just seeing it in the environment. Marked by the King's brand, Hallownest shall recognise a new ruler. The Kingdom's gates will open. Well, I wasn't expecting to take a... any kind of a... ow. Like, divine rulership today. I think a lot of things. I wasn't expecting that one. Oh, she rescued me. And then she Spider-Man's away. Hmm. King's brand marks the bearer as king. Hallownest's ancient places shall open before it. Curiouser and curiouser. Well, I know of at least one location. That door there will now open open for me. I don't know if there's anywhere else. Maybe that will finally let me dispel the, the black thing that's preventing me from getting any further.
don't think I've missed anything here. Oh, hang on. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, that's the whole other zone, right? Yeah. That's the cast off shell. Hmm. The sigil of the king seems to be this like big spiked crowned thing. So I wonder if uh I mean presumably the cast off shell was the shell of the old king. I was not expecting the king to be like a really big worm thing. But you know. It's not unprecedented, but this sigil that we've seen periodically. See here on the top of this like posty thing? That three segment sigil in the center seems to be the symbol of all bug kind. And then the different areas have different, uh, different attachments to it, indicating different tribes of bugs. But that, that, crown atop is the sigil of the king and that is very much the head of the cast off shell that we went in through also which is interesting i assumed that it was a crown worn by a by a bug but perhaps it's just sim the simple nature of the thing was this great beast that they all considered their ruler Now long lost. Although supposedly, I mean, the Dung Knight mentioned something about. Oh look, it's another one of these. So I still can't get through these. So far, the longest by far distance between finding uh, barriers and finding the ability to traverse that kind of barrier. That's like the longest time so far. Starting to think I'll never find how to get through them. Whoa. Haha, <laughs> can't get me now, can ya? Haha, <laughs> get evaded, idiot. Leave me alone. God, you guys are assholes. Right. Is this the snail shaman again? I haven't seen him in ages. <gasps> oh, it's a third nail master. How did you find me down here where the world ends? Yes, I know why you're here. You came to learn a nail art from the legendary nail master Oro. It is the law of the great nail sage that I must pass down my teachings to those who are worthy. But no law forbids me for exacting a payment for my time. If you truly wish to train, prove it with Geo. Finally, I can spend some of this moolah. <laughs> He's calling for the waiter in French. Hello, Somme. Your skill with the nail and your thirst to become stronger. You remind me of my brothers. I've taught you all that I can. Go back into the world, traveller, and leave me to my solitude. Bam. Finnen. Bam. Finnen. Bam. 
Finner. Each of these guys has a hint to the location of one of the others, I think. But I found all three of them now, so that's no longer relevant to me. Oh, spooky. Wait, that's a scarecrow. I'm not a crow. A sad worm. Oh, that was a long way down. Oh boy, this is what we call the danger zone. That's probably the one I was hearing previously. I should be able to get that guy to land on the spikes. Oh, okay, these ones are immune to spikes. The first enemy to have such a devastating capability. Decided I no longer care about fighting these assholes. Hit the bricks. You can just leave. Ooh, quick slash. That sounds like that will be a pretty good one. I wonder how many of those I have left to find now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So I'm just under three quarters of the way, because there's 40 of those. Okay. Let's try and go... Oh, I want to go see up. The I want to see the Colosseum of Fools. Sounds pretty funny to me. And then once I get there, I think I will call it a knight. Or a warrior. Or some kind of battle sergeant, perhaps.
Ah. This zone is deadly. Wowzers. Hey, would you like to play a shmup while you're also platforming? Too many, there's too many of them. As usual, hit in the bricks is the solution. my ghost. I can hear it. I hope the degree to which my ghost is bad at fighting does not reflect badly on me. As like a as like a soul warrior type person in this video again. It's kind of hilarious that the harder I try to avoid taking a hit, the more I'm likely to take it. At least with those triple blasting flying bug thingamajigs. Ass is this and why am I tickling it? I actually hate these fucking things. Worst bugs. I hate them more than the giant hopping ones. Hell yeah, free bonus hit points. That's all anyone really wants in life. I know I wish I had. 
bonus hit points in IRL. Oh, secrets. There's a secret up there. Let's see. Oh, it's this guy. Hey, what's uh, what's your deal? Oh, tiny thing. You climb high. Seek then the knowledge of these lands. Sure. This ashen place is grave of worm. Once told, it came to die. But what is death for that ancient being? More transformation, methinks. This failed kingdom is product of the beings spawned from that event. So this kingdom happened because the great worm died. So I guess maybe the first king wasn't the worm himself, but someone who took power from the corpse of the worm. Which we now also have done. Is it you bothering about my tail? The rest is somewhat disturbed, but I find the sensation not unpleasant. Tiny thing. Oh, the mark of worm you bear. Is it change you seek, or to save this ruin? That choice is yours. Always the smallest creatures that attempts the largest things. This falling ash is molt. The worm's corpse decaying. Endless. Serene. Sad. With its like gone, the world is smaller. Don't mistake, I am not a worm. Too small I am. Too many limbs. No foresight like the old things. For quiet retreat I did climb up here, away from spitting creatures. Yes, high up, away from simple minds, lost to light. Theirs is a different kind of unity. Reje rejection of the worm's attempt at order. I resist the light's allure. Union it may offer, but also a mind bereft of thought. To instinct alone is a bug reduced. Okay, well he's telling me a great deal about the orange slime that's controlling people's minds. So I guess once that infects them, they revert to an animalistic state, but they also become slowly more corrupted over time. I still don't really know what it is, though. They said it was a rejection of the order that the first king tried to achieve. Be on your way, then. It's rest I'll return to, though in these times, sleep oft proves uneasy. If I, go, if I go tickle his butthole again, will he, t will he tell me more things? Looks like most of the secrets in this particular room are shortcuts to avoiding all of the monsters in the center of the of the of the area. I should go back and dream nail him. I do kind of want to know what his deal is. Where was he? I can't even remember. This guy's going to machine gun me to death. Here's where he was. Probably shouldn't kill these things, but I need the I need the soul. I wonder what they are. I guess they're just 
big random flies. I think I've gone past his butt already. Hey man, what's up? One prefers its mind not be pride. Is rather unsettling, rather invasive. Oh, so he actually knows what's up when I use that thing. Nobody else has any idea as far as I know. Looks like I can't reach to dream nail his butthole, so ain't going to be seeing that today. deal is? Why is he so knowledgeable? Why does he know that I have a magical nail that can read his mind through the medium of dreams, I guess? Time to return to my fruitless quest for the Colosseum of Fools. Damn, that one nearly hit me. seen you in ages. I am loving Hollow Knight. Uh, as I have uh, been saying pretty much all the way through these this stream series as I work my way around. Oh hey, I do have the hive on here now. I have explored a great deal of it and uh, I have a great many unanswered questions which I am very pleased that the game is not simply giving me answers to about this place and its history and these people and their deal. <laughs> And I am proving to be extremely good at it. I say, self-aggrandizingly and only slightly ironically. I don't know I don't know if I've hit any of the bosses that are supposed to be super difficult yet, but I haven't had any real trouble yet. I don't think I've had to try more than th three or four times. I think the toughest boss I fought so far took f four or five tries, maybe? And luckily nobody's watched every one of these, so they can't correct me. See, that's fascinating. I love I love the mystery of figuring it out, and I feel like over-explaining things is really detrimental to a lot of stories, and it's also one of the worst, like, one of the most consistently, like, severely bad problems in games writing, is just explaining what everything is all of the time constantly, instead of having an army of mysteries. I mean, you're not weird. Most people are like that. Some people... It ties into this thing I talk about periodically with, with, with this kind of idea of, like... A lot of people play games with this kind of belief that there is a... Well, not just play games, but watch movies and read books and interact with fiction. With this really, to me, peculiar idea that there is a kind of a... a fundamental platonic truth that exists in and of itself. Um regardless of um, the fact that it's just some stuff a guy made up, you know, that lives in an author's mind. Um, and an overly, an over-focus on just the kind of, like, literal event-to-event -event logistics of a plot, rather than 
themes and meaning or, you know, mysteries that are more interesting left mysterious or that are only revealed in ambiguous ways or, most critically, interpretation. Like, you can go on as many, you can watch as many YouTube videos explaining this means this in Dark Souls. That means that, all of this stuff. Every, but everyone presents that as if it's an elemental truth. An inescapable and um, unavoidable and incontrovertible fact. When it is, in fact, interpretation in a game intended to encourage people to interpret and to invest in their interpretations. Um, so that's something I have fairly strong opinions about. <laughs> and I'm just glad that Hollow Knight doesn't seem to be one of those, really. You know, as it muses on the nature of consciousness and divinity. I have in fact played Disco Elysium. I would rank it as the single best written game I've ever played in my life by a huge margin. I like it very much and also a great deal. Okay, this is the arena then. Hey man, what's up? Aha! Another warrior finds their way to our fair Colosseum. Ours is the final destination for all seeking trials of intense and deadly combat. All one has to do is place the mark upon the trial board of choice and lo, the arena's gate will open. There's a small fee attached to each trial, but I'm sure a skilled as combatant as yourself will have accrued a wealth of gear. Now, before you draw your nail and rush legally and eagerly into battle, I'll offer a word of advice. There's a warrior's pit just below here where others like yourself await their own trials. I'd strongly advise using it to rest up before placing your mark. Oh, and I and have no doubt, I'm a fearsome warrior myself. Don't judge me by my si size or my current constraint. The Colosseum beckons us both. I'll be back in battle soon. So, what I'm getting out of this is, um... These guys are all super into bondage. A new trial is open to you. I hope your performance is spectacular. Cool. Where's the uh, the resting point, though? Aha. There he is. It's been ages since I found this guy. Pale one. You found it too then, this perfect place. I'll soon be entering the battle, just taking a moment to rest first. Though few would truly challenge me, I'm hoping this arena presents the sort of brutal challenge I'm after. You think this shell a defensive arm? Well, I'll give you fair warning. It conceals a deadly surprise. Pray you never find out what it is. I'll crush them all, and you. You'll see me at my deadly best. I like that the bondage guy upstairs was like, don't judge me by my size, I'm a powerful combatant. And I'm like, I'm by far the most powerful combatant in this entire world, simply by virtue of being good at video games. And I'm tiny. Look at me, I'm a little guy. Just hopping around. I'm just a little dude. I'm just a little creature. Hi. I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little birthday boy. You wouldn't hit a little birthday boy on his birthday. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is that from? Alright, I can have one battle as a treat. And then I will stop playing. For today. Ha, huh. even their old even their old king is dead. Sitting on his throne. Empty eyes ever watching. Mm. 
that it? Alice, I will look at what you've said when I'm not fighting for my life against militarized uh, wood lice, I guess, is what these are. These ones are a real actual challenge. I hate these things. Oh, I don't like this at all. You mean you don't like spiky flory, the famous the famous pastime of our people? Like I fall in and die of his own volition. How many rounds are there gonna be? fighting people rather than like animals For the record, for anyone watching this passively and not actually looking at the screen, Alice says the protagonist of games like- oh shit, it's not done yet. Are you kidding? Come on, how many of these guys have I got to kill? Throw your lives away. Dive onto my nail, I don't care. Staccato time. I really thought this would be like a sequence of boss fights, 
like a guy, and then I'd beat him, and then I'd be done, and then I'd fight another guy next stream. <laughs> Not cleaning out half a countryside's worth of random ass animals. Took a while. Hey, what happened to my magical pick up pick up coins for me bugs that I have? Am I not wearing them? The central crossroads. Ah, right. Yeah, no. This is a. Uh... This is an entirely different place. Make a contribution and you can enter the Trial of the Conqueror. I've done that though. Oh wait, that's the next one. A new trial is open to you. I hope your performance is spectacular. I have to beat that one before they'll let me do the next one. That's par for the course as video games do go. Oh hey, the guy's gone. I bet he's the I bet he's the third like challenge. Anyway, uh that's pretty much gonna be it from me. But uh For the record, yes, that's a fair point, Alice. Um that the protagonist of a game is not necessarily super skilled and super able to do stuff. Um but the ongoing nature of the plot kind of requires in and of itself the idea that the protagonist is able to overcome all of these challenges. The canonical route through this game is that the protagonist does in fact go to all of these different places and slaughter all of these different people without necessarily too much difficulty, at the very least without dying. Which actually means that the canonical protagonist of this game is better at this game than I am, because he succeeded first try every time, whereas I take a couple tries to beat some bosses. Anyway, on that bombshell and the terrifying realisation that I've suddenly ticked up to six viewers right at the time I'm about to finish streaming, uh, that's going to be all from me for today. If you're watching and you haven't already, give me a follow. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. I also stream on Twitch and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.